Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see what is MongoDB, which kind of database it is, what are its features and which all additions are available for users. So let's begin. So MongoDB is basically a document based database program. That means it is no SQL database, non tabular. Okay, and it is different from relational database. So MySQL is relational database. It is based on SQL that is records are stored in the form of tables rows and columns but mongodb is completely different it is document based that is a record is known as document in mongodb so we will see this later in this video with an example so it is one of the most popular database for modern apps cross platform that means it is available for all the major operating system like windows linux and mac it is developed by MongoDB Incorporation, written in C++, Go, JavaScript and Python. Initially it was released in 2009 and the current version on the and the current version is 4.4. It is used by Adobe, Google, Verizon, IBM, Uber and many other big IT giants as well. So let's go to features. As I told you before, it is document based. That means it stores data in the form of JSON styled or you can say JSON like documents. So JSON I hope you know it's according to key value pair. It also supports indexing that means you can easily index files and make it faster. With MongoDB you can create documents and you can easily filter them and sort by any field even nested documents embedded documents can also be searched and filtered. It also supports joins. It supports geo based search graph search text search as well with that the transactions you must be knowing automaticity consistency isolation and durability it supports multiple document transactions it also supports aggregation using aggregation pipeline map reduce function aggregation is basically used to group values from multiple documents we group documents basically we group multiple documents so that we can perform operations on the data it also supports capped collection Capped collections are basically fixed size collections that supports high throughput operations for inserting and retrieving documents that is based on the insertion order. It basically makes room for new documents so that you can easily override the older documents in your collection. So we will see an example here that what are collections documents in MongoDB. Let's first see the additions. So basically three additions are supported in MongoDB the community server enterprise server and Atlas. Community server is free and it supports all the major operating systems that is Windows, Linux and Mac. So in the upcoming video, we will see how to install MongoDB for free. That is MongoDB community server. We also have the MongoDB enterprise server, which is a paid one that is a commercial license as well as MongoDB Atlas for cloud lovers. That is you can easily deploy MongoDB in the cloud. It basically supports and runs on all the major cloud platforms that is Azure. AWS that is Amazon Web Service and Google Cloud Platform. Okay, so let us now see an example. So here is an example. So MongoDB is a collection of databases. Here is a database, let's say. A database in MongoDB has collections and collections has documents. So documents you can say records. So documents has fields in it. Fields you can relate to columns in MySQL. So as I told you before that MongoDB is all about creating documents and documents. That means this is your key and this is your value. So I hope you know in JSON style documents we have key value pair separated by colon and the same is visible here. So this is a single document and under that we have fields that is underscore ID department name department manager and department rank. So this is the record. This is a complete document a single document. So in the later videos we will see how to download and install MongoDB with that we will learn about creating a database collections documents fees and all other stuff about MongoDB. So guys thank you for watching the video. If you liked it do subscribe to our channel Amit Things.